All right, let's see, uh, give you a quick look at, just kind of threw that camera up there like that. Um, I've got two, two Breedlove mounts. This is from Breedlove mounts. This guy makes these himself. I've got two Breedlove mounts on my truck now. And I just ordered one, another one of these. The ones I have, they're just a stud and it's like a plate like this. And then I have like six inch or seven inch discs that I made from like a support plates for underneath the, uh, on the inside of the roof. Um, but I ordered these balls with the quick disconnect. Now I only ordered one. I'm going to order another one. But I ordered one just to see how it would fit on my truck. And just to see how it was. I'm going to go put this one on there now. And from what this looks like, I'm going to be ordering another one. But uh, basically, all this down here, I'm not going to use. I'm going to use the plate that came with the other Breed Love mounts. Because these threads that are here, I believe, is the exact same as the other Breed Love mounts. I think all his parts are interchangeable. So this will go, you know, here, and I'll, I think I'll be using this. Um, and then there's a plate up on the roof that's from the other mount. And so this should just thread right in. But then what I'm going to have is I'm going to have, uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to, to adjust this. Shoot, I should have brought up. Let me go get a wrench real quick. Well, anyway, well, anyway, this, you, you, you loosen this up and this whole thing swivels. See the seam right here? There's a seam right here in this. Let me go get the wrench. Alrighty. It didn't, it didn't come with a wrench. This is just a something like laying in there um everything that i showed you in you know, there see it swivels and when i saw that i'm like man can water get in here and get in there but then i opened it, opened it up uh you see that's all milled solid it doesn't go all the way through to there so there's water getting in there would have no effect of coming in through here uh But, um, yeah, I mean, the quality of this thing is super heavy. It's all solid brass, and uh, it's really nice. So, and I do believe, it's hard to tell just from pictures if it was going to work with the other plate, the other Breedlove bottom part that I have, but it looks like it's going to. So all I have to do is, on, is take the little stud that's on the top of the plate and all that, and just put and just put this there and uh you know this is all really strong this plastic it's not something that's going to smash but uh, let me let me show you how this works you know this is all I probably don't have to put this back in there but I'm going to go ahead and put it back together just so you can see it Okay, so the quick disconnect. I really wasn't sure how this worked either because the pictures doesn't really show it. But your antenna threads into here. That's your normal CB radio antenna threads. But it see how it just drops in there? And it's like, you know, machined really well. This comes over the top. And... You tighten it down. Now, you could probably just hand tighten this, but what I would do is still use two wrenches. I'll put a wrench on the bottom part, a big wrench here, take another wrench and just snug this tight. And the reason I put a wrench here is when otherwise if you go to turn this with your hand or with the wrench, you're gonna be trying to you're gonna be putting stress down here. It's gonna be trying to turn the whole thing. So I'll still put a wrench here. Put a wrench on there and just snug it tight. I mean, all you got to do is just, boom, put a little bit of pressure so it's not going anywhere. And you could probably put a wrench here and just use this by hand, but 
I like just to give it a nice little snug look. So I'm still going to use two wrenches even though it is a quick disconnect. And then from there, you, you screw this and then you have to take this off and then you, you, that's your whole antenna will come off. And you could put this back on. I'll probably leave this off because I've got some rubber caps. They're actually feet. They're those, those feet that go on like the bottom of uh, tables and chairs. You know, you see them, those rubber feet, like here's, the, say this is a, say this is a, 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 the leg of a chair, those rubber feet that go over the top. Just put that on there and then you got a nice rubber cap. And, uh, actually if it fit over this entire piece, it'd probably be the best. Yeah, if you can get one to go over the top of this piece, maybe. Yeah, maybe put it back on. And then put a, put a cap over it. Whatever you gotta do, basically. But, um... But yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I like this quick disconnect. I didn't think I was going to. And what I like about this, too, is you can put your antenna on. And uh, you can always have the antenna in the same spot. I don't know if that makes any sense, but some, with the way those coils are, it could be like this, or it could be like this. You could always have the same part of the coil facing the exact same way as when you tuned it. Put them in, and, and you know what I mean? Like look at the weld marks on the coil, and always so it's always the exact same as when you tuned it. Which I believe when you thread something in, it always ends up into the same spot. The one that I have in the back of my truck. Uh, you know, and the way it's set up now, they thread and they always end up at the same point, but that is something I noticed. You just have to make, take a mental note of how your antennas are, of which way the coil and all that is facing. So, uh, you know, when you maybe have the set screws facing you, so you always put it, when you put them up there, the set screws facing you. So it's always the exact same as when you tuned it. You just have to take a mental note of that. Probably really wouldn't matter, but that's just something I observed. But this is pretty cool. Because I really did not know how I saw this, but they didn't really show it. And you see it's got the flats here, so you can tighten this onto your antenna. And then that just stays on your antenna. But, I mean, it's a really nice piece, all made in America. This whole thing was $70 shipped to my house. I think it's 60 bucks and 10 bucks shipping. Guys, that's not that's not bad price. It really isn't for something nice and high quality like this. Um, you know. So anyway, thought so I'd give you a look at that. It's gonna be my new setup. I'm gonna go put this one on there, like I said, and uh, I don't see any reason why it's not gonna be really really cool. And um, and then I'm probably gonna come up and order another one. But see, if your antenna is leaning slightly forward on your roof, because your roof's not level with the ball, so you can you can pinpoint it and make them standing perfectly straight. Because the one that I got on the front, it's angled. It's angled forward. I mean, it's just a hair. But this is nice because you can really you can really fine tune it. So uh, you know, so pretty pretty slick, pretty slick. All right, I'll see you guys later.